car the morning of day six. I look tired. We drove an hour and a half, or, uh, yeah, about an hour and a half back from Nosara last night after dinner at Love Burger, which is amazing. Vegan place, vegan food blog, woo! But by the time we got back here, everyone was tired except for Brennan. He wanted to stay up and party, but that's it. The adults were tired, so we went to bed. And then today, we are going to a volcano tour waterfall thing, and apparently there's like sloths and, and stuff, which Kate is very excited about. All right. Here we go. We're going today to see sloths and frogs and snakes and monkeys, hopefully. Yes, monkeys, hopefully. So there we go. Rigo said it was a good day to see all these things. Yes. So there's an iguana up there, but there's no way we can see him. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I see him right there. His feet are hanging off the branch. We are at Tenorio Volcano National Park and we're gonna go walk into the jungle woods volcano area and get some shots of beautiful animals and whatnot. All right, yeah. The ride here was a little a little crazy with the roads and everything else, but had a lot of fun. Our driver was uh, good at driving, so that's good. We made it here. Here we go. It's gonna be cool. Everybody. I bug sprayed myself this morning and I put oils on myself. The eucalyptus and tea tree oil help repel mosquitoes, but you need this and we probably have to get going, right? So guys, this is Bren checking in and we are about to start our mountain hike thing. We are going to, I think, be going down that path. That looks cool and foreboding and stuff. Right now we are at what national park? So we are at this. Guys, look at this. It is a big tyrantula. So yeah, that's kind of scary. It jumps at you because you're putting a stick near it. No. Just you don't do that. Nah, my mom's always like, it's gonna jump back. So that's fun. Hi everybody, we just wanted to hop in real quick during this edit and narrate the last bit of the video. The volcano and the uh, water that you're just seeing just now, words can't describe how gorgeous that was. When you're in Costa Rica, absolutely go check out Tenorio and just it's worth the hike. The stairs Wait, are, are you brutal. It right? Is it, is it Tenorio? Tenorio, Tenorio, Tenorio. Is it Tenorio? No, it's O's, it's all O's, there's no A's. Tenorio? No, it's Tenorio. Volcano Tenorio. Hurt with all the <laughs> We are. <laughs> when you need to find out the pronunciation of things in Spanish, do not come here to this channel because it's not going to help you whatsoever. It's just no good. But the stairs on the way down were not that fun. You have to earn it. Be prepared. Like right. warm up. Do some stretches. That I'm day telling because you. Because it's. It's rough on your legs, on your butt, on your feet, on everything. It is rough even going down, let alone coming back up. You are Woo. gonna be gassed if you aren't normally used to that. This is definitely not a fitness channel, like obviously. <laughs> so we were not prepared for the amount of steps going out of that. It's so pretty on the way down, you're just like, oh, it's pretty. And then the, your brain doesn't really register that, wow, I'm gonna walk all the way back up this thing. But regardless, absolutely go do that because I tell you what, man, it was it was incredible. It was breathtaking. Moving on, to explain where the next photos are coming from, by the time we got out of there, I, I don't think we were just like, we are like all the way processing, making a video. We we're just kind of enjoying our vacation. We got in the van and we drove around a bit and tried to find a sloth, I don't even know, 
Sanctuary. Well, not sloth, sloth Sanctuary, right? Yeah. Yeah, they called it a sanctuary. We don't even know the name of it because the original one, I think, was closed. And then we had to go around back into the town and then circle around and, and find the one that we actually went to. And this is where we saw um, a couple sloths that were dropping those pictures here. We also saw a couple of uh, very poisonous frogs. So once again, the language barrier was a little funky with the owner of the place. He spoke zero English and we speak zero Spanish. <laughs> So <laughs> trying to communicate dangers, poison frogs to each other wasn't really working. <laughs> the other guy that was there, when he pointed at the frog, he was like, he's like he said something, I don't even know what he said. He's like, he's muerto. Like, yeah, muerto. Like, Which you, we you, know is death. <laughs> death. Like, so basically we were taking pictures feet away from death frogs. That guy reached his hand in there. Yeah, he stuck his hand in to get... To like move a leaf. That's crazy. The land that was like, it was like a an oasis rainforest with all these rare birds and all those pictures right here, we'll drop those in as well. All of a sudden when you walk out of the back of his property, you're on like a kid's soccer field. Yeah, and there was like poisonous snakes and frogs only feet away. Brennan was like, uh, so that's a snake right by his foot and it turns out it was a coral snake which is extremely deadly. Yeah, yeah not good. And actually we saw the baby coral <laughs> snake which a little fun fact is more venomous than the adult coral snake. Do they have like anti-venom if any of us got bit? <laughs> The things you do on vacation in, in like foreign countries that are definitely the rules are different. You know, <laughs> people will be getting sued left and right in America. It oh, just yeah. it just shows you how like how different the we way have, of thinking is. You when know? they showed us like you've seen those little poisonous tree frogs in like museums or things like that. That like the blue jean frog. I've seen that when I've gone to I don't know a zoo or whatever. Yeah, yeah like a zoo. And they're always blast off and like deadly, deadly. And this is like this guy's just pointing at it, moving a leaf. I'll tell you what. Then we, uh, <laughs> I guess that place was located in Biagua, and that's where that sloth sanctuary was. After that kind of uh, part of it, we went over to this like traditional Costa Rican restaurant or soda is what they what they call them, and we had probably the best, not the best meal of the whole week because we ate, we ate some like really good food. Yeah, this was a. You had the traditional yeah, beans was, and rice and just and vegetables. Everything was seasoned awesome, and, and it was like it was like the traditional yeah, Costa Rican. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Arroz con frijoles? I don't even know. Is that, is that right? Once again, don't come to this channel to you know, learn. learn Spanish. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it was really, I think it was really fitting seeing the natural beauty of the country. Oh. And then having a traditional Costa Rican meal right afterwards was the perfect end of that part of the day there for us and it was uh, it was really nice. It just felt so grounded yep. in nature and in their culture that day. That was it awesome. was awesome. It was awesome. So big shout out to Rigo and Rigo Tours. <laughs> <laughs> and if, if you've made it through all of our videos so far about Costa Rica, we've brought up like Rigo and Will a couple different times. But um, they pass you off to a total stranger. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, I got you, I got you. I'll show you all this stuff. And you're like, oh, you're cool, awesome, great. And then they're like, oh, this is, Juan, and he'll be with you today. <laughs> He's gonna and take you, you're man. Like, oh, okay, and then you'll you just be fine. trust your entire family to go drive up a mountain with somebody you don't even know for two hours, only to go into a rainforest with deadly creatures. With deadly, like by your feet. <sighs> So what I was saying in the beginning of this video too, with the language barrier being the way it was, that morning, Kate got a message from Rigo or or one of the guys, and it was so like, we couldn't figure out if they were coming to get us or not. Remember, we're like, is no, that, that me? No, that was the night before. It was the night before. Well, it, in the morning, I, I was talking about it in the beginning of this video, and we had to be very specific about where you're going, how you're getting there, who's going with you. All of those things were kind of tricky to work out when you can't really speak to each other all the way. Regardless though, we had we a did it. we had an awesome time. Super great. And uh, if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I'm gonna throw in the <laughs> the end of the night. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll edit it to make it a little bit prettier. But this is Kate and I at the end of that day, possibly after a drink or two. I don't we know. We earned it. We definitely <laughs> earned that. We earned that. <laughs> that day was that was a tiring. <laughs> that was a tough that was day. the best day. That was, that was the I best think day. That was the Literally Seeing one all of the that best stuff, days yeah. of my life. Yeah, that was awesome. Here is Kate and I to wrap up night number six in Costa Rica. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is an end of day six. The hiking adventure and uh, volcano tour was absolutely incredible. We'll leave a link in description, obviously. Um, I don't even know, that was just Rigo Tours. 
Yeah, but anybody can go to Parque Nacional. Nacional. Yeah. No. No. Tenario. Tenario. Tornario. Parque Nacional Volcan Tenario. And if you go to that park and walk the trail, you will uh, earn a an amazing vista of. Uh, you will earn this. Yeah. Un it's crazy. Believable heaven on earth. There was about eight million stairs, and it was so worth it because you will never see a sight like that yeah. in your entire life. It's amazing. For real though, those stairs were insane. Like <laughs> my. I thought we were gonna lose our shoes. Holy child. cow! My boots weighed like a thousand pounds, and my jeans. You're just Don't talk you're about just the sweating. Bed. Don't talk about the oh no no! I'm just saying. Like it, it's 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 like a right of okay. passage in a way I agree. I agree. to do that. You know what I mean? Like you're you gotta. Only getting there if you earn it. Right, you gotta sure. get down there, take and those pictures, and get then back up. yep, all the way back up. There it is. That's day six. This camera is super heavy. Day seven, final day tomorrow in Costa Rica, Tamarindo, Guanacaste. It's been awesome. And uh, all right, we'll see you guys in the morning.